I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Fucking, I'm crossing the line today. The hate be so real, the love be fake. Be bumping they gums and bumping my tape. Don't go against Hey guys, it is your girl Brit Brat and welcome to my channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and join the crew. If you are returning, hey Brat, hey. So today guys, I'm excited. I'm excited today because I had an interview on Instagram a few weeks back and I was asked, what is my favorite top coat? Um, and... I apologize the kids are kidding today <laughs> so hold on one second all right y'all so the kids be kidding and you know I'm a mompreneur so I gotta do what I gotta do I'm a mom content creator too so I plan on doing some mommy content but I guess as a mompreneur y'all are gonna hear the kids sometimes you know they be at home so anyways um so yeah, in that interview, I was asked what my favorite top coats are, uh, which ones do I use, so on and so forth. Um, and the big kicker was, I see a lot of people use Koopa. I don't use Koopa. I never invested in Koopa until now. So I could tell you guys which ones I think are the best, of the best, of the best, of the best, and which ones want... I start getting rid of certain ones I'll probably be keeping in rotation. So right now when I'm doing my content for you guys, I'm using my McCart top coat. I love McCart. I love McCart's products, but I'm okay. Let me say this. Hold on. Let me go back. I have two, four, six, seven top coats that I will be sharing with you guys in this video today. Um, so my McCart top coat is what I use when I am doing nails for my content. Um, I love it for that, but it is on the thin viscosity level. It's like very low viscosity. Um, so it is good, but it is not what I use when I'm sending out personal ones or when I'm doing full sets for clients. Currently, right now, I received this in one of my young nails. I received this in their gel kit, their hard gel kit. I forgot what it's called. I think it's like Synergy or something. Um, I received this with them. So I currently use this for my top coat with my press ones. I feel like I should be probably doing a breakdown of it as I am painting, but I also want you guys to see that. So again, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let me know what your favorite top coat is and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and paint up some nails in black for you guys and then so y'all can see me polishing the top coats on and all that good stuff and then we'll discuss further. All right, y'all, so I'm putting that last coat on this here black for you guys. Let me see. Should I keep this? I'm going to keep it. He's not going to like that. So I'm going to keep it. All right, so this one is going to play. I get two coats. I don't know. This is the only one. It's almost sheer to me. Um, it's the only one. I don't know. It's not going to still see. But I'm trying to make this video as best as I can. No voiceover. <laughs> so y'all can get in, like, the real time Got me stumbling back. So like I said, I have seven. Seven means completion. So I'm still, I'm thinking right now as I'm talking how I really want to do this video. Um, If I want to do it from thick viscosity to low or um my favorites so my least favorites how do you guys think i'm gonna do this what do you guys think hey babe what do you think should i do it from thick viscosity of gels or should i do it from my top my favorite to my least favorite your least favorite to your favorite Okie dokie, then, 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 man, 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 man. And you can talk about the viscosity yeah. as you go along. I'm doing that. 
Oh yeah, see, <laughs> this is what happened when you don't do a voiceover, guys. Now he's trying to tell me. I already, I already got that plan. Like that was already in the plan. But anyways, okay. Okay, you did not. I learned that at school. <laughs> I learned it in school, guys. Painter, I've taught you about disgusting. Okay. Uki, I learned it in school, but we gonna let him. You got it, babe. You right. You uh, taught me. <laughs> okay. So while I'm doing them, I will do a this small little disclaimer. I have never used Koopa. I've never used this brand. Stop. I've never used this brand, so I don't know. So. I can't really oh and I'm telling the story and I haven't used this one either I got this for free so it's just been sitting but I've been waiting to use it I actually said that I was going to use it after I finished my McCart um so let me put these in here over how I have them on my desk um so you can see let me zoom out a little bit no girl that is in zoom it's in okay so I have the Luxa I have Madam Glam. I have V Beauty Pure. I have the Young Nails. I have the Koopa. I have a Prey. And I have McCarts. So, how I have them here is what I think they rank in viscosity. But the true test of it all will be while I'm doing the nails um so I am debating on how I want to go first I think I'm gonna save these two for last and do this first okay so I am gonna start with my McCart I will tell you that I do love McCart I love a lot of McCart. I love their poly gel, which I'm going to start doing poly gel soon. I'm just still playing around with it. I love their um, their poly gel and all that good stuff. I love my drill. I love my lamps. Um, but this one is definitely on the thinner side of it all. But it finishes really well. I do like it. Um, so if you're looking for something. And what I'm going to do is because I didn't write down the pricing of them all. What I'll do is I will put it on the screen as I'm doing each one. So. I'm sorry. So sorry, y'all. Let me zoom back in. Look how I had it. Okay. So. All right. So that is my cart. We're going to pop that in there and let it cure. While we do that, I'm going to show you guys. If you can kind of see, it's not super thin, it's not super watery or anything, but it's just not as thick as some of the other ones you'll be seeing today are. So, oh, is that it? Is this how we want to do it? Yep, okay. So, Brittany, remember this angle. <laughs> remember this angle. And all that good stuff. Okay, so that is the McCart. And this is the finish with the top coat. It looks good. I mean, I have no complaints on my cart. I really don't. All right. And so let me show you guys a non polished nail to the top coat. So this is my cart. And this one doesn't have any top coat. Now we're gonna move on to the upper ray. Top coat. It's not super thin. It's not like 
but it's not as thick as some of the others. So I'm excited because it's my first time putting it on a nail. So let's go. Hold on, I see some trash up there. I see some trash. In the car world, ladies, trash is like our little dust. And that I learned from the hubby. Okay. Um, no complaints. It's going on easy. It's, it's nice and smooth. Um, okay. And for those who may want to know how I got this free, <laughs> I'm a part of their um, their pro account. I'm a pro account member, and um, I was able to get it for free. This as well as I've gotten um, the nail foils free. So I'm seeing some bubbles in here, y'all. Please do not mind my kids. They are actually playing. Nala is a yeller. Um, though. So, y'all. That's what she's in there doing right now. Y'all hear them? Okay, so the bubbles are coming out. The little crater holes. That's what I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them crater holes. Because I absolutely hate the look of it. But that's what it looks like. It looks like little crater holes. Especially when it cures. So let me go up some and see if that will help. I'm only seeing a very small few of them now. So when doing press ones though, guys, I tend to, I'll turn it upside down to see if I can get rid of any of the crater holes. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Seeing like one of them go away. I still see one. See one right there. Let me see. Let me see that right there at the top, like right in there. But all in all, I am gonna cure for the purposes of this video. And so I can say, guys, it's not too thin, but it's not super thick. At the end of the video, I will rank them all. Um, I'll rank them all at the end of the video. So now, guys, we're going to go on to uh, Koopa, Koopa, Koopa. I'm excited to try this one because I've never used it. I'm just pulling it out for the purpose of the video. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, guys. I think I see why y'all like the Koopa. I think I see why. I really think I see why and I definitely could say that I could definitely see myself buying more there is a piece of trash in there y'all but again for the purpose of the video it has done what it's supposed to do I like it I like it I like it okay I like it I really do yeah, my boy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. There is a piece of trash, guys, in the Koopa. But so far, out of the three, I know it might be hard to tell. I'm, I'm wondering if I should have probably picked different colors. I don't know. But right now, I'm definitely feeling the Koopa. I'm feeling it. Y'all done got... Okay. Listen... When I get rid of some of the stuff that I have already. Now we're going on to Valentino. 
Okay, well, you know what? I lied. I'm going to keep them in order so I can remember who was done first. And then... So this is Valentino. It is a little thicker. I'm kind of getting a tiny bit of a Koopa vibe from here. Oops, let me get in here for you guys. From first pool. Hmm. Okay. I'm starting to see it's going away as I'm still gliding over, but I was starting to see a little bit of the craters. And sometimes I hear mixed things on why that happens. Um, I'm not a pro in the chemistry department with that but I've heard that because it's a different gel polish it's not all the same brand I've heard just like the mix I, and I am a brand person I try to stick with the same brands I say that pretty often um if I'm you I try to stick with the system excuse me so I do prefer to get same base code all of that good stuff so if you can see, it's not too watery, but it's not super duper thick. Now this, I love it. Um, the only pro, I mean, excuse me, the only con of this, and it's almost gone, y'all. I've been using this bad boy. The only con for it, for me, the smell. Ugh. I don't know how to describe it. I love the Young Nails product. Young Nails products. Um, as you can know, should know that I use their protein bond. Um, I use their swipe. I love their products. But the smell of this, I cannot lie to you guys. I do not like the smell. I don't. I'm ready for the bottle to be over and done. If all products smelt like this, I would deal with it better, but it does have this weird odor-ish to it that I'm not really super duper fond of. I can just say that, and that's all I want to say because I love Young Nails products, and yeah, I, I would definitely purchase if this was the only one that was like the greatest thing on the market, but it is really good, Joe. Top finisher it's really good it's just the smell for me guys okay so that's that and it's just crazy. Yeah, you can definitely see some of the differences in products. Like, that's just crazy to me when you do all the side-by-sides and all that good stuff. I'm going to see what I can do to make this look even better for you guys. Let me see. Even better for you guys so you can see the different finishes, maybe. My cart is looking really good, okay? So is the Koopa. And Valentino looks good. It does. But I'm definitely, I'm vibing with the Koopa. Out of all four of these that are sitting here right now. I won't lie about that. Um, So, I'm vibing with the Koopa. Um, I definitely will be using my Valentino. And my McCart. I, li I like those. Um. I'm going to have to give, we'll, we'll rank at the end. We'll rank at the end, y'all. So, y'all, not me saying McCart, McCart, McCart in the snake so section. <laughs> it is Madam Glam. I don't know why I was calling McCart, maybe because I was just talking about McCart. But Madam Glam, Madam Glam, Madam Glam. I absolutely love it. It's a thicker viscosity. Um, and I currently use this one with my in-person clients. And I do absolutely love it. It's like my second go-to.
which I need to reach out to them because I can no longer get in my old email that they were contacting me in. But yeah, McCar, if you see this video. <laughs> Golly. I love its thickness. It's like amazing. Like it's definitely going to, if your girl has a little bit of trash that is not bad or whatever it may be a little time, this will hide it some. I love, I love, love, love Madam Gwen. Top coat. I do. Look at that finish, bro. Like, chef kisses. Chef freaking kisses, okay? And next, we're going to do Luxa, Luxa, Luxa Shine. Luxa. I have not used this on a client yet, but it is of thick, thick, and I mean thick, thick viscosity, y'all baby is thick look at that like look at it it's not drippy it's it's holding on there like do y'all see that it is holding on this is a full brand new bottle it's not dripping it's not dripping sorry y'all it's not dripping like it's thick baby is thicker than a snicker <laughs> Baby is thicker than a snicker. Stop playing with her. Okay, Luxa. Oh, yeah. I have her, y'all. But I've been using the freaking matte top. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, give her her flowers. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling Luxa. I think between Madam Glam and Luxa, Luxa, I'm I'm rocking with both of them. Game changer for sure. If you are looking for a top coat, she's probably gonna be your girl. Like if you're looking for a thick viscosity top coat, what? Uh-uh, stop playing with her. Stop playing with her. Stop. Stop it. Oh, I like. I need to um get a refill bottle ASAP. Um, so let's get into the rankings of the video, y'all. Wow. I'm mind blown by the look. So like I said, I've been using their um their matte top coat because yeah, but I'm just looking at all of these here. Let me find my lamp. Let's turn the light down. Okay, light is down. Let's zoom out some. Nope, that's in Brit. That is in. So let's zoom out some. Um, I, I don't know. You, I know. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm almost 100 percent sure that you can guys cannot see with them just like this. The best of the best. But I'm going to now do. I'm going to pull each one up, and I'm also going to tell you what I'm ranking it and I'll also put the prices in it um I'm gonna start with my least favorite from here and go from there um yeah so I and I'm gonna also say why I'm talking to so I can kind of budget friendly type deal um unfortunately as much as I love their tips, I'm going to rank this number seven. This is my least favorite. Um, out of all of them, this has created a little crater. And um, 
It's just not my favorite. So it went on nice, but it did have that crater and I just, yeah. So it's thin viscosity and I believe it was $12.99 though. But like I said, I did get this one for free. I will still use this um, and navigate through it when I'm creating sets, but it's number seven for me. Whew. Okay, guys, I'm trying to make this as fast as possible, but um, mm. all right, so number six, this one's coming in at number six because of the smell. Um, it does have a thicker viscosity, but the smell for me has turned me completely off. Um, I still would use it if this was the only thing that I had left in the house and um I would use this up prior to a prey um if this had one day shipping um and I needed it fast I would order um I can't I'll have the price for you guys but this is ranking number six all right Dun, dun, dun. I love their gel colors. I love their gel polishes. This has a clean, a pretty decent finish. I do like it, but um, it's it's uh, number five for me. Um, I don't really have too many cons. It did it does the job, but number five. Bang for your buck. You are looking for a bang for your buck. Fast shipping on Amazon. This is number four. For sure. Hmm. Number three. This will come in at number three for me. This is definitely something I would use. I would say it took a week to get here though, which I didn't like. Even though it was coming from Amazon, it took a week to get to me. It's not a, I have to get today, but it is definitely something that if my other two favorites cannot come in time and this will get here before them, I would order it. Dun, dun, dun. Number two. I love this. I'm currently using this with all my um, clients, my in-person clients. I do love it. I love their base and I love how thick of viscosity Madam Glam is. Um, so it is coming in at number two for me. Um, definitely, I believe it is cheaper than the Luxa, but the price is kind of up there. Um, so it's number two. And baby, when I tell you, that this is it. When I say that the Luxa Shine is probably going to be my go-to forever on when I don't have, um, no, it's going to be my go-to forever on. Um, I will, I need refill bottles ASAP. I want more. Um, this thing is thick. It is thick viscosity. I absolutely love it. Like there's hardly no bend like the rest of them had. Um, I probably didn't paint that all the way well there. Um, but this is, this is it. Like for sure. Um, so this is number one. And I can't wait to get through the rest of them these these two are forever but in rotation and like I said now we will probably keep Cooper on deck too but um probably for my content creations or something like that and and like I said when I make my cart when I do sets for myself I in the videos and all the other stuff um when I'm just doing like design tutorials and things this is good to have because it's not I think it's only ten dollars a bottle um and I could do a quite a few tutorials and sets but if I'm sending out products or if I'm working with clients these will probably be my main go-to's um so definitely, definitely suggest um, 
if you can invest in Luxa, Madam Glam. But if you cannot, and, and it's all understandable, Koopa is definitely third best and McCart is number four. The rest of them are good. I love each of their brands. I love a prey because as y'all know, that's all the only tips that I use, but I'm not a fan of their top coat. Sorry. Um, Young Nails, if it, if it could just change the scent, I promise I would probably buy it and rank it higher. But because of that smell, it is such a turn off. But I still love their swipe and I still love their protein bond. I have like three, I have four bottles of protein bond. That's how much I love them. So Valentino Beauty Pure now changed to V Beauty Pure. It is a good top coat. Um, it's, if it could be thicker, then I would definitely go with them because I have a lot of their gels. And that is the brand that I'm switching to once I'm done with Ajo Beauty. Madam Glam love and they have a great color selection as well i actually do need to buy some of their gel colors um luxa oh my gosh i've seen some of their um stuff um once they open their affiliates back up i will probably be trying to apply because yeah baby this right here where my card at get me some more <laughs> koopa is really good i just didn't like how long it took for shipping um, but it is a good alternative um, if the rest of them take too long. And then the McCart, her, period. If you're on a budget, these two are on a budget. If you have more to spend than these two. So budget friendly and a little bit pricier. But I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around with this video. If you guys have anything else that you want to see me compare, polishes, like color polishes, other brands, other anything, just let me know, guys. I'll be more than happy to do it for you guys. I love you guys and see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Like, for real. Don't. Like, join the crew. Become a brat. See you next time.